Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a unboxing of the Charlotte Tilbury Mystery Glow um, Mystery Glow Secrets box from Black Friday. She did have three of these boxes on Black Friday and there was three different tiers. There was a, 40, a $99 one, a $145, and then a $200 one. So this is the $145 and it comes with eight full-size products. So if you are interested in watching, we are going to go ahead and unbox that today and kind of just talk through our thoughts and feelings about the products that we got. So first and foremost, I'm going to share that Charlotte Tilbury is very generous in her um, kind of freebies, gifts with purchases on her website. And on the day that this went live, she actually was having a free luxury palette. Um, if you purchased $125 or $145 or more. And so I actually got that as a freebie, which is the Pillow Talk Luxury Palette of Pops. Um, these palettes are about $53. So when I say she's really generous, you're not getting like a deluxe size sample of a cream or anything like that. Um, oh, I kind of showed you the wrong one. You got a sneak of the one that's coming next. So here is the palette of pops and um, the luxury palette of pops. These are all shimmery shades, but not your traditional shimmers. So these are kind of glittery top coats, if you will. They don't have a huge amount of color payoff on their own. So like you'll see the two lightest, you almost can't even see. But they give kind of just this beautiful wash of like glowiness to them. So definitely think that that is a great gift with purchase. I think just for the value alone, it's a great product. So if you don't like these topper coats, that might not necessarily be one for you, but I thought it was really beautiful and a great freebie. These again are about $53 and this one was free with the palette, with the palette, with the box. Um, so the other two items, so she did sneak two items per box that were going to be in the box. And it's actually the reason that I ended up buying a box and buying this specific box because both items that she showcased were items that I was interested in buying already. They had been on my Sephora loves list for a very long time. And so to get them in this box with extra things was just, I couldn't say no. So the first thing which I sneak peeked already, you guys saw is the luxury palette pillow talk. And so this is kind of her traditional pillow talk shade. And this one is a Jessica Braun favorite. It has two mattes, a shimmer, and then kind of that palette, um, similar to the palette of pops, kind of that poppy shade. Kind of what they look like. So again, this is the shimmer. This is your pop and then your two mattes. And I did, I am trying to wipe off my swatches, but can still see them. So here they are. Ignore that one. That one's from the other palette. But your two mattes, your shimmer, and then your poppy shade. Now I will say that these are gorgeous, but they're not going to give you kind of the like what I have on my lid today, which is the ColourPop So Jaded palette. You're not going to get that huge overabundance of color payoff. They are just I, it's so hard to describe them because they're very luxurious. They're very simple, understated, but beautiful, if that makes sense. So love that. Again, this was one of the two items that was sneak peeked. And one of the items that I absolutely wanted had been on my loves list for easily the last year. The other item that was on my loves list was the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand in the shade Peachgasm. So Kelly Gooch here on YouTube, she loves this in the shade Pinkgasm. And so I actually had both of these on my um, wish list. Peachgasm would have been the one that I think I would have bought anyway. I don't tend to wear pink a lot. Well, I say that, but I, I, as I'm wearing pink on my... Ah, you guys... <laughs> I probably would have gotten Peachgasm anyway. So it's got this little kind of fluffy lid. You turn it off and on. You squeeze the product. I will say for the price that these are, this is not a lot of product. 
So this can be used, it's called a beauty wand. Kelly Gooch uses it as a blush predominantly and it always looks so beautiful on her. Now I will say I have used this as a blush, I have used it as a blush topper and I have used it as a highlighter. I personally prefer it so far as a blush topper. I do not like it as a blush alone, as a standalone. I do think that it has too much kind of reflect for me as its own. But like if I were to top it over what I'm wearing today, I would kind of just dab it in and kind of just, you know, on my finger and kind of blush, do like a little bit of a drape effect. I've liked it the best that way. I do think this color is too peachy for my specific skin tone as a highlighter, but I could see it working for other skin tones as a highlighter. So I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think I'm glad that I have it because I had been wanting to try this specific product and this specific formula. I'm not sure that it's kind of my favorite thing. So Anyway, I am glad to have it. It's definitely something I would have paid for anyway out of my own pocket um, at another point in time. And so I'm not sad about it. So those were kind of the two items that were sneak peeks. So now we're going to get into kind of the six mystery items that were in the box. Um, the first one I will show you is the Pillow Talk Collagen Lip Bath Collagen Enhanced Limp, Lip Plumping Effect. And this was in the shade Pillow Talk. So this is right here, beautiful packaging, kind of your traditional lip gloss packaging and in your traditional OG Pillow Talk shade. One of the cool things about this that I wanted to show you, or not cool, but interesting, is the wand. It kind of has this heart shaped, which I thought was really interesting. So just a light wash of that Pillow Talk pink color. I would say think of this as a kind of, if you're familiar with the Buxom Plumping lip glosses, a very similar effect. Like it gives you that little bit of tingling, not an overabundance of plumping, um, pretty wash of color. I thought that was a great kind of addition to have in the box. Ah. <sighs> Probably my least favorite item out of the box was the Classic Eye Powder Pencil, and this was in the shade Classic Brown. This is a traditional pencil eyeliner. It's not a coal or anything special or fancy, just your traditional pencil. You can see it's a little bit dry. It's a gorgeous brown, like the brown itself is beautiful. I have used this on my waterline and it stayed all day. I have tried this on my upper lash line. Did not like it that way at all, you guys. Um, it, I couldn't smudge it. It was hard to drag. Just not ideal. Would I pay 20? This is like 22, $25 for absolutely not. I would not buy this full price um, at all. I will use it because I have it. Would never buy it on its own. Next product is another lip product. So we have the Lip Luster Luxe Color Lasting Lip Liqueur, Lacquer. Um, and this one was in the shade Ibiza Nights. This is actually really beautiful, you guys. So this is a lot smaller than that other one that we got. So for size reference, the actual packaging. Granted, this one's predominantly all lid. So if you just look at the bottom, it's not hugely different. But this is a gorgeous kind of coppery bronze clear shade with glitter. Absolutely gorgeous, you guys. And this is one that is just going to add such a pretty sheen to your lips. I love this. I think that this is a beautiful color. And I did look it up. There's different colors. I personally love this color. I think it's just something you can wear on top of or over any lipstick look and it's just going to add something extra special. Okay, so the next thing that we got was another thing I was really excited for. So this is one of the Chic to Chic blushers 
and the shade that we got is in the shade Ecstasy. And I have never tried her blushes. So let's see if you can see there's two different colors. So there's a ring and then right in the center, which yes, I know looks like an inappropriate part of the woman's anatomy, a different color. So Charlotte Tilbury has a whole technique. If you watch her videos or YouTube tutorials or anything where you swirl around the outside and then dab that on and then dab what's on the inside, but I just kind of blend it all together. Um, I might have to build this up just a little bit so you can see. So kind of a traditional pinky shade. Let me see if I can build that up so you can kind of see what it looks like. So it's right here. Really pretty. This is a great formula. I definitely think that I'm excited to have it. Um, again, just a really pretty pink. So gorgeous. Um, I actually think I like that better than the Glowgasm wand, which was interesting. So the next thing I got, and I was actually kind of surprised that this was in the box, was a second luxury palette of um, luxury palette in here. And this is actually the Queen of Glow palette, which is right here. And I will say that I am not sad that this is in the box. This is beautiful. And so this actually has one matte, two shimmers, and kind of a pop itself. The matte on this one, you guys, and the shimmers, I think I like better than the Charlotte Tilbury. So there's your matte, your two shimmers, and kind of your pop. These are gorgeous. So, you know, I'm going to have to, let me try to swatch it on my. So these are kind of your two shimmers. Your, oh no, these are the two shimmers. That was your pop. And then the matte shade. Look how gorgeous they are. I have to say, out of all of the palettes, as excited I was about Pillow Talk, I think this one, it, it was the palette I didn't know I wanted, and now I have it, and I love it. So, absolutely gorgeous. The last thing in the box, so we are on product number eight, and I was actually, when I first opened the box, I was a little disappointed because I thought that this was a different shade. When I found out it was the different shade, I was super excited. So this is a Pillow Talk Matte Revolution lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk Medium. And so I actually own two Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks um, in this formula, and one of them is Pillow Talk. And so when I thought that it was that one, I thought I had a repeat, but it's actually the medium shade. And so let me show you what that looks like. So here is the medium. It's her traditional lipstick bullet. She has a very interesting shape to it. And you can see that this is just a deeper tone. Let me swatch it for you. There it is. Gorgeous color. Absolutely beautiful. Now I do have, I pulled out my pillow talk, the traditional one. This is the regular pillow talk. So not the medium shade. I'm going to swatch the two next to each other so you can see. I was actually a little worried that maybe they'd be too similar, but they're actually very, very different. So this one's kind of your more traditional pinky rose color, and then this one just has a lot more depth. And so Charlotte Tilbury released a lot of shades kind of in this medium format um, for deeper skin tones and kind of just more, kind of a, more of an array of tones. And so I was super excited when I got this one. And actually... I wonder, it looks a little bit like my, I, the other shade I have is very Victoria. And now that I'm looking at this, I think that those two might be a little, they are very similar. <laughs> so here is very Victoria at the top, Pillow Talk Medium, and then Pillow Talk. And so very Victoria and Pillow Talk were already a little similar, except this one had more of a deepness. So I would almost say it's kind of light medium, and then the dark of the three shades. Clearly, clearly you can see the kind of lipsticks I use. So 
that is all that we got in the box, you guys. I definitely think that the value was there. The two palettes alone and the blusher would equal the entire cost of the box, kind of full price, what I paid. Now you throw in that we got a third free palette with shipping. So this right here is $159 for these three things, which is more than I paid for the box. And then of course the cheeker, the lipstick, the two other lip products that we got, um, the Glowgasm, and then your meh, our meh kind of highlighter. So all of these things, $145. For me, I definitely think this box was well more than worth it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you stay tuned for future content, additional hauls, different things like that. It's just so glad to have you here. And if you guys got the box, whether it was this one or one of the other two, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about it. Would you purchase um, these boxes in the future? I will say as an overall thoughts for me, this made sense because I don't own a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products. If I did, I would be more hesitant to kind of buy a mystery box for fear that I get duplicate products. But if you don't own a lot from Charlotte Tilbury or the brand, I definitely think a mystery box is kind of the way to go. Now I will say with mystery boxes, you can get really weird shades, maybe the shades that aren't selling so much. And so you could potentially end up with items that you wouldn't use. I think that this was the most lucky box that I could have ever purchased for a mystery because it had all things and tones that I will personally use in shades. So anyway, kind of just my thoughts. So again, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future content if you're interested in seeing more of my videos. Um, it was so glad to have you here today and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.